YouTube viewers. I realized that uh, in this video, uh, some of the footage was, well, <laughs> not very well planned out. So, um, yep, this is the video of, I guess you're gonna say, the marriage of the clip in the car, maybe the mating of the two, I don't know, whatever. Um, but anyways, we got some video footage going and, and we're gonna time lapse it, but it, it, it actually took way longer than expected. Um, and it was kind of a pain in the ass. I mean, I think we spent a couple hours actually getting uh, the table with the motor and everything on it. I think you've seen in the past videos, we actually have a, a fixture table that had the chassis, the front clip on it that we did all the welding on and all the stuff and then ended up putting the motor on the chassis uh, as a unit with all the suspension and steering and everything on it. Well, we were able to actually roll that table underneath the car. Sounds like a great plan. It was tough because one, it was about a thousand plus pounds of weight. Moving it around was kind of tough on casters and getting it lined up and, and uh, the car's got subframe connectors on it too, a pair of our subframe connectors. So we actually had to slide the frame into the subframe connectors. So anyways, that was pretty difficult. Uh, I had a little bit of help. So thanks to Andrew and, and Gary for helping out, getting that thing on there. Um, so anyways, let's roll the bean footage. Go ahead. Whoa. Yep, it came off the table. All right, keep going. Okay. Bump, bump it slowly, just keep nose, going. Nose heavy. I know, all of a sudden it's got nose heavy. That's good. Keep going. And that's how you made a Camaro. All right. Say this one's off because it's 109 and about 716. Well, take the twist out of it. Oh, the twist is good, dude. This twist makes it, makes it better. Right. Plus or minus three quarters of an inch. It's BM spec. I mean, it's fine. All right, we're there. So 109 and 716. Close enough. I'm going to fold it up, tighten it up, and ship it. Done. Dude. official it's in so what'd you think of all that anyways yeah it was it was frustrating and the, I'm sure the video didn't really show that I was tired I literally was on the floor rolling around underneath this thing and, and it got up and down and cutting the tunnel out for the shifter it was it was awful but anyways the results spectacular so anyways here's the table so now I can actually use my fab table. Uh, this was just built purposely for that 
modifying of the front clip and building all that stuff. But now I, I got a really nice fab table to work on. So anyways, but as you can see, it looks good. I'm happy. Got the carbon wheel tubs, firewall. Everything looks really good. And you know, some of you guys commented on the <laughs> the yellow on the on the inner wheel tubs. Um, that's Kevlar. So it's pretty badass stuff, really just to keep the tires from wearing through it and rock chips and stuff. Uh, it's a lot more abrasion and impact resistant. So anyways, working on some stuff here, running the new, these are the oil lines. It's got a remote oil filter that runs into a cool, a cooler, uh, underneath here, replacing all that stuff. Everything's new. Um, so anyways, this is where we're at clips in, um, what else? Um, obviously the tranny and all that stuff's all bolted up. One of the things that we did, believe it or not, and I, I'll, I'll pop, post up some pictures, is if you can see it right there is the engine mount. And one of the things that we did was, in there. I actually modified those today to drop the engine a quarter of an inch. Um, which was really tough because I had to unbolt to get those out, those mounts out. It uses the, the factory style clamshells on the frame and then the clamp, the, the, the Holly, uh, mounts go on those. Um, I actually marked them up and slotted them and then welded up part of the hole and uh, it got the engine um, at three degrees rather than what it was at at four degrees. So it's at a better deal, but it also made the T56 Magnum fit in the tunnel a lot better. So, and it really didn't affect much. I mean, I think you can see here, we've shown this before. Um, we got really good ground clearance on the headers still. I mean, that quarter of an inch didn't do anything, so. Anyways, back at it. We'll have more stuff here shortly. Uh, we're just really knocking things out, really making a lot of progress on it. I'm pretty happy with the, the rate of progress because we're still making parts and selling parts and doing stuff. And I don't know, if you guys aren't watching the Pro Touring Riviera video. Uh, we got the underhood all dialed in. It looks pretty good. Um, the AC heater box is still kind of just hanging there. Um, I got to figure out how I want to paint that and what I want it to look like, but it looks pretty good. Um, here's the motor. This is the famous missing rod cap bolt GM performance engine. Um, <laughs> some a-hole on, on my Facebook page. It was like, oh, that's a reman piece of shit. You you bought a reman pile of junk. That's not really a real GM engine. It's totally a real GM engine. There's a there's a tag right here. Anyways, but here's the you see this one. I left it not painted because. <laughs> <laughs> because but anyways we, were, we checked the torque on the on the main caps and everything was fine it was just omitted one bolt so anyways that's where we're at thanks for watching hey don't forget to subscribe hit the like button and leave comments i like to hear what you guys are saying and what you guys think appreciate it